I'm just filming a, a project share really for what I am sending Anna, who is Anna's Wonderland. Um, yeah, what I'm sending her for her birthday challenge. She's going to be 45 in April. And yeah, she's done a little challenge and I thought that I would enter. I just hope that it's gonna arrive in time. <laughs> So I have, uh, first of all, made one of these acetate folios. Now, I was inspired by Wendy at My Sweet Creative Life because she sent me an entry with an acetate folio like this, but I believe she got the original idea from Penny Flower. So uh, I will link um, Wendy and uh, Penny Flower in the description box so that you can see their creations, but that's where I got the inspiration from. So I've used Carousel. And in these acetates, at the front, as you can see, it's a sequin shaper. It's all very pretty. And then on the back, I've used this um, carousel paper. And it's got my handmade by sign on it. And there's pom-pom trim on both sides. And then when you open it up, and I've used this cute little trim to do that rather than twine which we would normally do it does ping see <laughs> that's the downside of, of these when you open it up uh, differently to Wendy and Penny Flower I think I made like a three-dimensional box pocket because what is in my front pocket is this dangle charm now let me see if I can get it out I squeezed it right in this little bag So I made this dangle charm for Anna. Very simple one. There's just um, all sorts of cute little charms, really. There's not many, many beads. This one's from Cheryl, which she gifted me. And one of these um, cute little ones. So that's the dangle charm. So that goes in that bag in the front. But the main reason why I made such a deep pocket was to house this whopper of a memory dex card let me take it out so you guys can see it here it is it's absolutely ginormous i have never made such a big memory dex card so here's my hand i believe that's the normal width of a memory dex card but it's just huge absolutely huge <laughs> my little uh, tag thing again and yeah there's just all sorts on here there's a page flag in the background we've got some of the ephemera pieces from carousel i made that it's not really a shaker i just put um acetate over it and then use my sewing machine to stitch around it although this tag here this green one that is a shaker and this uh, heart shaker was from Emma at Project Sparkle. She gifted that to me uh, with her entry. And as soon as I unboxed her entry and I saw that shaker heart, I was like, yes, I knew what, <laughs> what I was gonna do with it. This boil bow is from Beck at the Pink Papery, but I took off the one of these that she'd stuck on the center and I glued on one of these fuzzy pink hearts that I think is from Cheryl, Cheryl G. I do have some like this, but I believe this shade wasn't mine. I think it's one of the ones Cheryl sent me. And yeah, so there's just lots and lots of different pom-poms and jimmies and all sorts on there. And I glittered the tops of the, like the canopies of um, the carousel carriages. So yes, that is what I am sending Anna because the memory dex card was one of the items that she would like to receive. You can see the other pockets a bit better now that those um, items are out of the front pockets. I've just stuck her name on there with puffy stickers and then I um, made a crepe paper rosette and decorated that up there. Some more carousel goodies. And then the four embellishments that I've made are pinwheels on a, uh, what's the word? Come on brain. Come on, brain. Cake pop stick. That's it. Cake pop. So I'll whip them all out and then I can show you. So each one is slightly different and they've all got different carousel papers, but I backed 
um, some of the papers onto this hot pink cardstock so that when you then folded the panels over, you, it exposed a little bit of the papers. And they've all got um, just, yeah, a huge bunch of layered carousel goodies. And this trim was from Hannah at Little House of Cards. It's so fun. Just cut a little snippet of it off and hot glued it on. So there's that one. And then we have this one. So they're all very similar. It's kind of a quick and easy way of churning embellishments out to make them in a similar fashion. It's just with different pieces of ephemera. And these are all um, di the digital kit that I we, that I fussy cut out myself, which was very fiddly when it comes to like that tiny little flag on the top. But these must. And then we have this one. So that is all basically my challenge entry but I kind of went whee, one step further I'll pop that all away in a minute in its little house and I yeah I went one step further and made this as well which is why I'm late in sending it out to her oh dear that spun the wrong way around so this tassel was actually from Jane at Limeade Gal Crafts. I just trimmed it down a little bit and hung it on the binder rings because I just thought it went so well with carousels, all the ice creams and fun colours that just work so perfectly. Again, a lot of this is the digital, so I printed out the um, circus tent paper and enlarged it so that it kind of spread over the front and the back knowing full well that you wouldn't see much of the front anyway. You can just see the top of that tent and the very bottom. So everything else is just, yeah, again, loads and loads of layers. And it's a mixture of the real ephemera pieces and uh, the digital kits that I've cut out. I stuck pom-poms on the front of all of those ice creams. This uh, cabochon bow is from Cheryl G. And yeah, there's just all sorts of things. I popped her name on it with holographic puffy alphas and I made this um, shaker ice cream die cut that you can just about see from one of the um, dies from KS Crafts. And yeah, just lots of pom-pom trim and enamel dots and this flower is from Cheryl as well. And I fussy cut out the happy and stuck it on there. So let's open it up. This um, trim is also from Hannah, a little house of cards. So I use that for the closure. Ah, so when you open it up on this left-hand page, I've made like a double layered pocket. There's a green, a green, a gold glittery pocket here with the pink pom-pom trim. And then there's a vellum pocket. So on the front of this pocket, I made this little heart donut die cut and I decorated it with lots of sprinkles like clay pieces and little tiny, tiny, I don't even know if they're called seed beads. I don't know what they're called. They're like the tiny, they're not beads. They're just round balls, but they're absolutely tiny. And I fussy cut out the uh, carousel. <laughs> no, it's not a carousel, it's a big wheel. One of these Be Mine cabochon thingamajigs from Ali. It's a crepe paper ruffle with this confetti tool which was from Ashley at Mall Crafts. And I've tucked into there at these enamel dots for Anna. And then in this back pocket, I have popped some popping candy and a selection of tags that I cut out from the digital kit with just different um, tag dies that I've got. Cause I know that Anna loves carousel. So I thought these will come in handy. She could just double them up, you know, back them up to make them a bit more sturdy and use them in her junk journals perhaps. And then I popped in the front here, just a couple of those tiny little bags that I made and designed on some software. Again, Anna knows how to do this. She's got her own chip bags or whatever that she sells on her Etsy store. But I just thought, I've got them laying around my craft room. Let's just send them to her. And she might, as I say, tuck them into her junk journals or something like that. So that's what's in the front here. And then as you can see, there's just a gold star trim to decorate the front of the acetate pocket. Whew. Then 
I've used one of these little bags that's from Hobbycraft. It's for baking, really. And I punched holes in it and popped eyelets on it. And then inside, I have a decorated rosette and then a plain one. So I just used the same Tim Holtz rosette die, cut it out four times, and then cut it down and glued them all together to create like a multi-tone um, rosette. And then here's another one that I have decorated with all sorts of goodies. And that pink ticket in the background is also from Hannah at Little House of Cards. So I owe Hannah big time because she sent me so many fun goodies and they have really come in handy for making all of these projects. So thank you, Hannah. And then when we turn it over, we have that sort of starbursty effect paper from Carousel. And I made a belly band with some pink stripy fabric that I turned into a ruffle. And then we've got the star trim on it. And this is that tassel trim from Hannah as well that I used earlier on in my embellishments, but I just cut a little sort of sprig off like a spray, but it looks like a grass skirt, doesn't it? I love it. <laughs> and then tucked into that belly band are two roller skates from KS Craft that I die cut out. I had a lot of fun making those, although they were very time consuming. So that's what is in or on that page in the belly band. And it's also a pocket. And in this pop pocket, I've die cut out um, some hearts that are glittery gold and holographic and pale pink in a few different sizes. They're always handy, aren't they, for layering? And I made that little tab on the top by just cutting a rectangle, folding it in half. And when it was folded in half, I used my corner rounder and then it creates like a little tab. And I just did some loose stitching and that cake flat back is from Cheryl G as well. I've had so many goodies. I'm so thankful for all these extra goodies that my crafty friends have sent me during my challenge. This, I haven't even put anything in it. It's a torn paper pocket on this side. And then on, oh God, on this page, again, lovely, lovely paper from Carousel using this chunky peg. I can't remember who got me this peg now, where it came from but I hot glued on another one of those lovely bows from Beth at the Pink Papery. And I've just clipped on with that peg, um, these lollipop or popsicle shakers, one of which I've decorated and this one is bare so that Anna could perhaps decorate that one. So there we have it. I have shared these on my Instagram and this is a side loading pocket. Uh, here again, more lovely trim from Hannah at Little House of Cards. She is a star. Made another tab here. And this is also from Cheryl G. And then when you pull it out, it's some of these star embellishments that I like to use. And if I can spot them in the works, then I will grab them. And because I like to give them to crafty friends, especially if they're, you know, in an another part of the world, they can't access them. So <laughs> I always try to share things that people can't get. And then this shaker pouch was from Emma at Project Sparkle. And all I did was um, punch holes in it and added eyelets to turn it into a page. And then I hot glued this trim. I can't remember who it's from. It might've been Ashley Moorcrafts now. I just found it in my little trim drawer. But I just thought it was quite fun to add a little bit of pizzazz onto the side of that pocket. But this whole shaker pouch was made by Emma at Project Sparkle. And inside, I've got one of these ice creams. So basically, this foam, this pink foam, was like the off cut, the, the bit you wouldn't keep from the previous shaker ice cream that's on the front cover. And so I just cut out um, another cone and it's a good way of using up all the pieces to create a different kind of ice cream. And again, I've decorated it with all sorts of fun carousel goodies. So that's in there. Then what do we have? Another page. I love this blue and white stripe paper from carousel. And I use the confetti tool from Ashley at Moorcrafts. Thank you, Ashley. I love, love, love this confetti. And I've tucked inside uh, pink versions. Again, one that's plain and one that isn't. And I do believe I believe that the sequins inside 
um, no, I don't think they're from Cheryl. I can't remember now. I was about to say they were from Cheryl, but I don't think they are. I've had so many sequin mixes from people and I didn't label up whose was whose and I can't remember now. I'm ever so sorry, but it was beautiful sequins mix and they just went so perfectly with that pink. So that's inside there. And this is a top loading pocket. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, this one. I use this um, paper bag with the metallic gold uh, polka dots all over it. Created another little tab and these doilies and more fun tickets and things. And inside of this one, all sorts of bits and bobs. They're not, they're, they're all loose. So I'm gonna regret doing this. I won't get it all back in. <laughs> because I know that Anna's fond of making junk journals, I thought that I would try and share with her just some useful little bits and bobs. So we have some tiny little white doilies. It's a very white package, this bit. Some tiny little white tags. Of course, she doesn't have to keep these boring uh, bits of twine on there. She can cut them off and put something fun. I just thought that these would be kind of fun for Anna to use. We've got some larger white tags that she could use. Quite a few in there. Again, she can take these boring bits off. And these uh, plain white postcards, so they're all plain on this side. And it just says postcard that she could perhaps tea stain or embellish or something like that. I just thought these are the sorts of useful things that Anna might like for her junk journal. So that goes in that paper bag and in that top pocket. And we've got this fun, bright yellow, chunky pom-pom trim. That isn't from Ali, it is from Amazon over here in the UK. So if you're in the UK, I can send you a link, but for anyone anywhere else in the world, I don't know where you would find such huge pom-pom trim from. <laughs> ah, then I made a um, vellum shaker pouch. I was kind of inspired by Emma's sequin one. And I popped on the front this, um, again was from Hannah at Little House of cards and then I just loosely glittered it up. I wasn't trying to be perfect. I kind of just added glue randomly and sprinkled the colours on just to give it a bit of pizzazz. And I just got a huge bunch of different trims that I've been gifted by all sorts of people. That's from Hannah as well. Look at that sequin trim. It's amazing. And I literally put a tiny little bit of tape around it just so that when it was clipped it was just easier to contain everything <laughs> otherwise you unclip it and you get trims falling all over the place so doing it like that just kind of helps keep it all together and then inside of this vellum shaker as you can see what well, i hope you can there's some sequins and then there's some confetti that's what i use to pop inside of the shaker i have made four heart-shaped donuts and I have um, decorated them with a mixture of those funny little balls and clay pieces, different kinds of sprinkles. I just thought that they went well with carousel. They're just fun, aren't they? You get donuts at the fair, so why not have heart-shaped donuts at the fair? <laughs> Let's just clip this bit back on. Oh, see, look, it's all falling apart. Every time you lift the clip up, it all just falls everywhere. So that goes like that. Then when you turn it over, I love, love, love this carousel paper in the background here. It's one of my favorites. And um, I've got this, what kind of a clip is it? Like a clipboard clip. And I added some wire wrap beads that were gifted to me by Cheryl, Cheryl G. And holding that on is one of those sequin ice creams again. All those fun sequins and they're like, just look at them, they're gorgeous. So again, a lot of the layering is very similar to how I always do it. A tag in the background or a ticket, rosette, and then more and more layers. <laughs> Puppy sticker there from Rosie's Studio. So this clip is holding that embellishment on and it's also helping to hold the donut die in place because it's quite heavy. It just slides around in that pocket. So I'm using that little clip to hold everything in place. So here's another one of my little handmade tabs with another fun flat back from Cheryl. Yay! 
lovely Cheryl, she sent me so many goodies. In an embellishment box. So this clip, as I say, holds that into place and it holds the embellishment in place. And this pink trim on the side was gifted to me by Stacy Flynn at Christmas. It's just so fun, I love it, I love it. Let me turn that over. And this has got a little side loading pocket as well with a mixture of carousel papers and that wonderful metallic um, bluey coloured heart trim was from Emma at Project Sparkle. She sent me that quite a while ago. Oh, there's so many pages. And on this one, I've used um, this fun, fun, fun voil that's from Hannah at Little House of Cards again. <laughs> it's so fun, isn't it? And I have another two. So each of the four ice, ice skate, each of the four roller skate embellishments that I've made have all got different papers and different embellishments. And all the beads are from Cheryl. It's so nice to have wire wrap beads already sent. Wire wrap, you don't even have to wire wrap everything. It's just ching, 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 and you can use them. And then in this pocket, I didn't put a tab on it because I didn't want to ruin the bag in case somebody wants to reuse it. But in here, um, as I often do, I'm gifting some of this die cut with all the hearts on it. And there's a mixture of holographic and glittery gold. Again, it's just very useful for embellishing and for layering. So that is in the top pocket. And the jumbo trim again from Amazon, this time in a lovely pale purple. And then we've got the back pocket. Um, and I did like a diagonal pocket. I made another crepe paper rosette, fussy cut out the tent. Uh, more holographic stickers to pop her name on it. That ticket there, that green ticket is from Hannah at Little House of Cars. And we have a different flavor popping candy. But much like the front, there's another selection of paper um, tags from the carousel collection, different shapes and sizes, and a different to carousel inspired little gift bags that I made so that Anna can use them if she so wishes. So that is everything that I made for Anna. I hope she likes it. I hope I can find some kind of a box that I can package this all up in <laughs> because everything's a bit of a weird and wonderful size and shape. I'm just hoping that I can find something to, to post it in. So let's put everything all back in and get it sent off to her. So thanks very much for watching. Um, yeah, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.